Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 20 of Project Gotham Racing 2, where in this episode we are starting off the Roadster series with a couple of races. We have a timed run, cone challenge, and a street race all to do here. And we have the choice of the two slowest Roadster cars, the Vauxhall VX220 and the Renault Spider. There is an Elise in here. There's a 340R, which I've only ever seen on two Horizon games, I think, Forza Horizon. I think Horizon 3 and 4 had this. Maybe just 4. I know it's at least Horizon 4. And Caterham 7 Classic, and the AC427, aka the Shelby Cobra. So, I think in this episode we're going to start out with the VX220. Because, yeah, and stuff. Um, I'll make it red. And these cars aren't, like, too incredibly, like, underpowered compared to other cars and other series in this game, but it's not great still. I know the Elise is not very much faster than any of these. I don't even know if I've ever actually owned the Elise, or driven the Elise in this game. I think I probably have, because I've on, one, on my one profile, I think I have every car up to American Muscle unlocked. I don't know, but we're in Australia, which is pretty cool. I'm glad to hear recently that uh, Australia's been doing better, actually getting rain for once instead of just fires. Makes me happy. I'm glad they're uh, hopefully get everything rebuilt that was burned down. But man, that, that just is like... Mother Nature was not happy for some reason. And who knows why, but hopefully, like I said, hopefully they can rebuild and get back to living as they were. Cause I love Australia. I love I love my Australian friends. I wanted to go to Australia. Honestly, Australia is one of like the very 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 few uh, other countries I would like to visit. Like I'd like to visit Canada, just because it's pretty easy. I could literally just drive to Canada if I wanted to. Um, I'm gonna vi visit Australia, and Japan would be cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's very stereotypical for an American person to want to travel to Japan, but uh, Japan is just cool, and I love Japanese cars, which is something that a lot of people don't really care too much about if they travel to Japan. They're mostly in it for, like, the... the <laughs> I want to say... Uh, <laughs> is it bad if I say the weeaboo stuff? Like, I... I like, the, all the anime and stuff is cool, and all the, like, Little knickknacks you can buy and stuff are pretty cool, but like, I just want to go there to see the cars. That'd be pretty cool. And the UK would be cool too. And that's really about it. I don't. I mean, I would travel to other countries. Like if somebody's like, "Hey, let's go to Germany or whatever," um, for whatever reason, I'd be like, "All right, if I got the money, why not?" Ah. Definitely not the best car, but it was still good enough. I have that song stuck in my head now. Just a little bit of... Wait. I'm going to save this right away, so I remember. Uh, Steve Miller Band, that's what that was called. Anyways. We got kudos. You've got mail. And kudos. Oh. So we got a cone challenge and a street race to do. And... Oh, and yellow. I've been on a kick for yellow cars recently, and I don't know why. I've used yellow cars a bunch of times in this game, and I don't feel like stopping anytime soon. So, yeah. Yellow. Like, my dad had a yellow truck. A yellow 72 GMC truck that is Chevy front end. Didn't really matter, honestly. Uh, they're, they're literally the exact same truck other than the front clip. But I didn't mind it. It was kind of resto modded. Lowered and big wheels and all kinds of fancy stuff on it. Oh, I almost hit that. Alright, bud. Don't let me down. Don't bring me down. Or let me down. Because those are kind of two different things. Oh, ah, damn it. Oh, well. 
This shouldn't be too hard to get. Go. Yeah, I made it through there before it canceled it. I need to play more Midnight Club LA soon. I need to play more Need for Speed Heat and Midnight Club LA soon. Because I have a shitload of this game ready to go. And Forza 2 is just going to be ongoing for a while, as you all probably can tell. Um, please don't crash. Okay. Uh, but the other two games that I'm currently playing through... need to play through, And I need to play more GT4 at some point. Damn, 1,500 kudos. Not too shabby. Midnight Club specifically because I'm out of episodes for it and I would like to finish it in a decent amount of time. But then again, this was... Going by when I started the Let's Plays, this is the one that's like most pressing right now. Because it was a... It's the oldest one I started that is still ongoing. So... Yeah, I want to finish this. But this game is just kind of a chill game to play because I don't have really any issues with having to restart and getting angry at the game or anything. Uh, oh, wow, I'm about to level up. Ooh. Um, change color. Sure. Burnt orange. And yeah, they're quick episodes, too. Like, the longest one, I think, was like 13 minutes so far, <laughs> which is great. There'll be a few long ones, longish ones, aka probably closer to 20 minutes, and that's probably about as long as the episodes are going to get. I'm not going to lie. Welcome to Sydney. Fucking live, Sydney. That was a very butchered accent. I apologize. I should not be trying accents, especially because I'm like, my sleep schedule is all whacked out because I went to bed at 7.30 a.m. and woke up at... 2:30 p.m. roughly. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a day. It's been a weekend, honestly. Oh, it's this track where you have the jumps. Yeah, jump and jump. Fun fact: in these jumps, you can launch your car um, if you're going the opposite direction as tra uh, AI traffic, or if you have somebody else to help you, like in let's yeah, split screen or something. Uh, if you go over jumps and you go high enough to where you can actually hit the top of a car instead of just hitting it head on or the side of it or whatever, it will launch you into the sky. <laughs> and it's great. I would try it, but it's it's very hard to get right. I think I have a video on my old channel of me and a friend doing it though. Hello JC. Interesting emote you have there. Lips. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to some Project Gotham Racing. And I was talking to a friend of mine. I might have an emote sometime soon. Uh, if I can figure out what to make an emote out of. Oh god. Well thank you. I don't know what specifically you're happy about, but I appreciate it. I'm happy for you. Oh god. Everything's happy at the Happy Hotel. Phone just distracted the shit out of me with a Twitch, Twitch notification. Oh, this is five laps, okay. This is a little bit longer. We're almost up to 10 minutes. Oh god. Oh god. God, I love this game. I will say that until I die, but I love this game so much. It's such a perfect blend of arcade and like a track racing game of sorts. It's not too serious. The difficulty can be low or can be high, depending on what you want to do. I can go from stupid easy to stupid hard. Um, the car list is great, the, the tracks are great, the aesthetic is great of the tracks. <laughs> A whole seven miles in the car, yep. You know it. 
putting big miles on these cars. I mean, that's good though because it's a British car and it would break if I put over seven miles on it. <laughs> uh, I love making car jokes. Hey, kudos tokens, by the way. We've reached rank 14. And that will conclude this here episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.